Hi everyone, uh, I hope all of you are well. Dear children, uh, we will be continuing with our topic, Similar Triangles. Today we are going to discuss about an important topic that is areas of similar triangles. We have discussed it in earlier uh, lectures that if in two similar triangles, the ratio of their corresponding sides is the same. Do you think there is any relationship between their areas and their corresponding sides? Do you know that the area is measured in square units? So you may expect that this ratio is the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. This is indeed true. So we shall prove in the theorem. So the statement of the theorem is the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. So first of all, let us draw two triangles here. Triangle ABC A B C and triangle P Q R another triangle here P Q and R. The statement of the theorem is the two triangles A B C and P Q R is similar first of all. So if these two triangles are similar, it means their corresponding angles are proportional, corresponding angles are equal and their corresponding sides are proportional. So we have to find here the ratio of these areas of triangles is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. So the given is here given triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. This is given condition. Then to prove, we have to prove here ratio of their areas means area of ABC upon area of PQR is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. So it is equal to AB square by PQ square. Further we can write it as BC square by QR square and AC square by PR square. We know that we have to find out first of all the area of a triangle ABC and a triangle PQR. We know that area of a triangle is one half of base into altitude but altitude is not given in triangle ABC and in triangle PQR. Let us draw some construction here to draw this altitude from vertex A on side BC of a triangle ABC and from vertex P on side QR of a triangle P, Q and R. So let us take construction here. This is construction. That is draw. Let it be AD perpendicular on side BC. Draw AD perpendicular on BC and PM perpendicular on QR side. So PM perpendicular on side QR. This is perpendicular here on side QR. Now the proof of this theorem is proof. So since triangle ABC is similar to triangle P, Q and R, it is given. Therefore, we can write here area of triangle 
ए बी सी इज इक्वल टू वी नो दैट एरिया ऑफ ट्रेंगल इक्वल टू वन हाफ ऑफ बेस इन टू ऑल्टीट्यूड सो बेस इज हेयर साइड बी सी एंड ऑल्टीट्यूड इज हेयर ए डी साइड सो एरिया ऑफ ट्रेंगल ए बी सी इज इक्वल टू वन हाफ ऑफ बेस इज विच साइड इज हेयर बेस बी सी साइड इज हेयर बेस दैट इज बी सी एंड इट इज करस्पॉन्डिंग ऑल्टीट्यूड इज हेयर ए डी ए डी नाउ लुक एट द ट्राइंगल पी क्यू आर इन विच वी हैव क्यू आर इज द बेस एंड पी एम इज द ऑल्टीट्यूड सेम एरिया ऑफ ट्रेंगल पी क्यू आर एरिया ऑफ ट्रेंगल पी क्यू आर इज इक्वल टू वन हाफ ऑफ बेस फॉर ट्रेंगल पी क्यू आर इज क्यू आर साइड इट इज क्यू आर इन टू ऑल्टीट्यूड ऑल्टीट्यूड इज हेयर पी एम दिस वन नाउ लुक एट द टू प्रू कंडीशन वट वी हैव हेयर इन टू प्रू इट इज एरिया ऑफ ए बी सी डिवाइडेड बाई एरिया पी क्यू आर वी हैव हेयर इन प्रूफ एरिया ऑफ ए बी सी एंड एरिया ऑफ पी क्यू आर सो वी डिवाइड द टू बिकॉज वी हैव टू फॉलो द टू प्रूव कंडीशन हेयर एरिया ऑफ ए बी सी डिवाइडेड बाई एरिया ऑफ पी क्यू आर देर फोर एरिया ऑफ ए बी सी बाई एरिया ऑफ पी क्यू आर is equal to, when we divide the left hand side is and look at the right hand side of above two equations here it is 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 if we put in the division form definitely 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 will cancel out and we can write simply here it is bc by qr is equivalent to ad by pm or or we can write it as area of abc by area of pqr is equal to it is bc by qr we can write it as ab by pq as well why because given condition is the two triangles are similar so their corresponding sides are proportional to each other we can use uh, write bc by qr or we can replace this bc by ab upon qr by this qr side by pq into ad by pm so reason is because here ab side is proportional to pq side here why they are proportional because the two triangles given are similar to each other bc is proportional to qr and this ac is proportional to pr ac is proportional to pr that is why we replace this bc by qr in terms of ab by pq because all of them are equal in ratio now we have to prove here area of abc by area of pqr is equal to ab square by pq square but we have here ab by pq so in this we have multiplication of ad and pm so we have to make ab square but we have here ab this one ab if we replace this ad in terms of ab then ab into ab is ab square and we replace this pm by pq then we multiply pq and pq that equals to pq square now look at the two triangles where you have a side ad and pm or we can say that where you have a side ab and ad is any triangle where we have side ab and ad yes we have a triangle a b and d so we take this triangle separately this one and triangle we have side pq and pm because we have to take here triangle p q and m because in triangle p q m we have the two sides p q and p m so now let us take here triangle in triangle abd this smaller triangle here abd and triangle this p q and m 
So what is same in the two triangles here? We observe here angle B, this angle, is equivalent to angle Q. Why they are same? Because the two triangles are given, they are similar, and we know that similar. if we have two similar triangles, then their corresponding angles are equal. So in these two triangles, ABD and PQM, we can write this angle B is equivalent to angle Q, and the reason is given. Also, we can write this angle 1, if we call this as angle 1, and this one is angle 2. We can write here, angle 1 is equivalent to angle 2. Why they are equal? Because both of them are 90 degree each. So angle 1 is equivalent to angle 2 because each 90 degree. Each 90 degree. So when these two triangles, means ABM is similar to triangle PQM, therefore we can write Triangle ABD or ABD is similar to triangle PQ and M. By which criteria the two angles are similar? Two triangles are similar. They are similar by angle-angle similarity criterion. By angle-angle similarity criterion. And we know that when two triangles are similar, their corresponding sides are proportional to each other. It means AB is proportional to the side PQ equals to AD is proportional to PM. AD is proportional to PM. And we call this one as equation second and we call this one as equation 1 here, this one. So now we use this equation second in equation second. We use or using second in 1 we get here we can write if we use this equation second in equation 1 we can write area of area of ABC divided by area of PQR is equal to here it is AB by PQ it is as it is AB by PQ into here we have AD by PM but observe equation second AD by PM is equal to AB by PQ so we can replace it as AB by PQ. Now again, we can write it as here area of ABC by area of PQR is equal to here. It is AB into AB. What is AB into AB? It is AB square upon PQ into PQ is PQ square. So this is our theorem that the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. So the area of a triangle ABC upon area of a triangle PQR is equal to AB square divided by PQ square. Now look at the two proof condition. It is area of ABC divided by area of PQR is equal to AB square by PQ square. We have proved it. this is equal to AB square by PQ square. Similarly, we can prove it is equal to BC square by QR square and AC square by PR square. Why? Because the two triangles ABC and PQR are similar and we know that their corresponding sides are proportional to each other. If it is equal to AB square by PQ square, then we can uh, prove it as well that for BC square by QR square and AC square by PR square. So let us take an example to illustrate the use of this theorem. So consider a triangle ABC and a triangle DF and they are similar. For example, if we take two triangles ABC, ABC is a triangle and another triangle is DEF. This is DEF triangle. So ABC is similar to triangle DF and their areas are also given. If the area of 
a triangle ABC is we can write it as 64 square centimeter and the area of DF triangle is equal to 121 square centimeter and one side of a triangle DF is given here it is 15.4 centimeter so the ratio theorem is if we have two triangles and they are similar then we can say that the ratio of their areas is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. So here we can write solution. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle DF. And area of triangle ABC is equivalent to 64 square centimeter also area of a triangle DEF is equal to 121 square centimeter and the side EF is equal to 15.4 and we are going to find the length of the side BC here so since the triangle ABC is similar to triangle DF we use this area theorem Therefore, area, we can write it as area of ABC divided by area of DF. Yes, when two triangles are similar and then we use the theorem, then the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. So, we are uh, supposed to here take the side EF side because EF is here given and its corresponding side that is equal to BC here. So we can write it as area of ABC upon area of DF is equal to square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. So we can take here it is BC by EF whole square. Now here it is given that area of ABC is equal to 64 square centimeter. We can write it as 64 square centimeter upon area of df it equals to 121 square centimeter it is given is equivalent to bc by ef look at the figure what is the distance of e to f it is 15.4 centimeter we can write it as 15.4 centimeter but whole square so here we have 64 and we have 121. We know that 64 is a square of 8 and 121 is 11 square. So we can write here 64 in place of 64 we can write it as 8 centimeter or we can write it as 8 by 11 whole square. Then we can write it as BC by 15.4 square here we observe here this square and this square will cancel out here it becomes 8 upon 11 is equivalent to BC by 15.4 here we are find here the side BC so we transpose this 15.4 to left hand side it becomes here 8 by 11 into 15.4 is equivalent to BC. When you calculate 8 by 11 into 4, the answer will be 11.2 centimeter is the length of the side BC. So the length of the side BC is here now 11.2 centimeter. So in this question, we have two triangles. They are both similar, having their areas given. 1 is 64 and 121 and the side EF is given also 15.4. We are supposed to find the other side that is BC. We use this area theorem that is when two triangles are similar then the ratio of these areas is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. So we proceed this and we get the length of the side BC is equal to 11.2 centimeters meter so this is all for the day we'll meet you in the next session till then take care of yourself